Hey y'all, how are you doing? I'm great, thank you so much for asking. It's me, Kim, and I'm back. I am back, and girl, you know what we're gonna do on this video? We're gonna stand. I've been ready to stand Normani for a long time. I loved Fifth Harmony. I am a harmonizer, and she was obviously the best performer. I don't know how Camilla got out in front. I mean, I like a couple of Camilla's songs, but she was not the star of Fifth Harmony to my eyes. It was always all about Normani. She served in those videos. But the thing is, I haven't loved Normani's music so far. Now, I kind of like that Khalid song. It wasn't my favorite, but she did give us that exceptional performance. I think it was at the AMAs, that performance where she was tumbling on the ground. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's where I saw it. I saw the vision. And I liked Waves a lot, but Waves wasn't a hit. But the video for Waves, wonderful. And she did a couple of performances for Waves that were very good. But still, what I needed from Normani as a lover of pop music, as a lover of aesthetics, was a moment. She's given us that moment. Motivation is one of the best videos I've seen in a long time. Especially from a new artist, an artist not named Beyonce? Come on now, come on! The direction of this video from Dave Myers, who is a music video directing icon. Get your freak on! People you know, me and We are going to break this video down image by image, outfit by outfit, reference by reference. But I'm gonna have to be a little a little more savvy about this video than I was the last time I did a breakdown. You know, I did a whole dissertation about Ape Shit by the Carters. And after all the work and research I put into that video, it got blocked across the world. Like, you cannot find the video. It's only up on Patreon right now. Um, so what I'm gonna do is do a voiceover. I'll see you again at the end of this video. The video begins with the little girl who's supposed to be a little Normani running into her grandma's living room, sitting down to watch BET's 106 in Park, AKA an iconic television program. Look at that girl's little beautiful brown complexion, just looking buttery smooth, my goodness. Normani has a really interesting background. She was born in New Orleans and actually had to relocate to Houston, home of another icon, actually, a few icons right now, not just Beyonce and Solange, but Lizzo and Megan Thee Stallion. Okay, shout out to the H-Town hotties. But she had to relocate to Houston, and then that's where she grew up. Now, I know Normani and I are not the same age because her 106 and Park references are Terrence and Roxy, whom I do not acknowledge. I am AJ and free all the way, even though AJ just got caught up in some Me Too stuff. But I am free all the way. I was obsessed with Free. I like what this opening is highlighting. Representation is important. I noticed almost immediately that this video is not shot in widescreen, which is very rare in 2019. I assume that that's to give it a more authentically early 2000s feel, and I love that detail. So little baby girl Normani, here's Terrence say her name, and she jumps up and starts doing the chicken head. And then we flash into the music video. So once we get into the music video portion, Normani is wearing my dream outfit from 2002 through 2004. I saw a full length version of this outfit and she was even wearing the heels that I wish that I had. And when I did the research, I found that this is a direct reference to Destiny's Child from the Destiny's Fulfilled tour. I do agree with the consensus that these first shots are a reference to Beyonce's crazy in love. But that opening also reminded me of the Lose My Breath video, the way that Normani is kind of winding her waist. Then we get to Normani swinging down the street in an airbrush two-piece. If y'all are not mentioning in your discussions of this video how black it is, you're doing it wrong. Your commentary sucks because there are so many classic signifiers of blackness, not in an exploitative way, just in a real, just celebratory way. Now here I got a few vibes. I got Christina Aguilera's Can't Hold Us Down where all the girls are asserting their rights in the street. I got Sierra vibes because there are like five Sierra videos that are about dancing in the street. And I also got Kelly Rowland and Nelly Dilemma where they're caking in the street, boo loving in the street. Then we're introduced to the choreography. This choreography 
is so exceptional. It's hard for me to put into words how extraordinary it is, how fun it was to watch. Shout out to the choreographer, Sean Bankhead. He's an instant legend with this video, a future icon. I mean, he's rising. He doesn't even have a Wikipedia page, but that is coming because he's done a work for a few really high profile people. This first choreography is straight up Aaliyah. And Sis in the back has the Aaliyah hairdo from Are You That Somebody? And look at how Sean choreographs to hit all of the percussive hits. You got that good, good, baby, don't you? What's shown over and over again in this video is how athletic Normani is. She's doing tricks like a gymnast. And then I also love the dude that she's sweating in the video, passing her by and going straight to the plus size woman, his plus size little boo. What a cute detail that was. I like having the kids watching the girls dancing the way that Normani watched 106 in Park, but the choreography here, this is where I got chills. Look at the intensity on their faces. Look at how hard they're going, how hard they're stomping the ground. And Normani is such a star. I love her facial expressions. She is a true performer. She gave us smiles. She gave us come hither eyes. She gave, I got this, I'm so confident eyes. And yeah, I do love that Normani's homegirls are predominantly dark-skinned, black women, looking cute, super stylish. Somewhere along the way, the idea that everybody has to be ethnically ambiguous or mixed to appeal to the masses to hold. There is a vibrant black girl culture that cannot be replicated, sorry. Now that fence scene was also where I was like, where has Normani been training? Is she a, a ballet dancer? How is this girl doing double pirouettes and arabesques? I love that we're mixing classical ballet moves with Jordans. This video is so good because it's not just a stale homage. I would have liked that anyway because who doesn't love nostalgia? But that would have only been fun for a minute. I've watched this video over and over again and I get chills every time I see it because we're seeing new things. How is Shorty hanging sideways on the fence? Who came up with that? It is so visually interesting. Next we're on the basketball court. This court is very famous. I immediately recognized it because as a youth, I loved the I'm Real remix. First of all, this is just a, a plain old good song and I love the sample. And I wanted to wear that short set so bad. I still covet it, but I cannot wear those little short sets because my booty cheeks hang out of it. And here on the basketball court, we also get a nod to Britney's Baby One More Time video with the gymnastics. The scene on the basketball court is just fantastic editing. I believe it's CGI and wonderful editing because Dave Myers is a king of music video special effects. Then she moves to what looks like a pretty busy street where she's dancing with a partner. The visuals of this scene were so gorgeous. The train is whizzing by and then you see the, the blurred out car lights in the background. What a good shot that was. Everybody was saying that this looks like Omarion's touch video where Omarion and Danielle Polanco, who went on to be like a, a pretty well-known choreographer in her own right. But this is where we just have to face facts. Nobody is dancing as well as Normani. No pop star. No one is doing it. It's so good. The lift into the weave pat, which is another Beyonce reference. Beyonce loves that weave pat during checkup on it when she does it live. The next scene is Normani in a chainmail outfit. And this is another Beyonce reference. When she got on the ground, that reminded me of the dance break in Overprotected where Britney is dancing in the rain. I also felt like when she got on the ground and did the, the come hither fingers, that is a reference to what Beyonce did in the Baby Boy video. I saw people also say it looks like Sierra's video for Gimme Dat. I see that too. In that horn section, Normani is shouting out her hometown of New Orleans. <laughs> And then we're back on the street. That last pass of choreography was insane. Look at the intricacy of that footwork. Sean's partner work is crazy. And it reminds me of so many videos where the female pop stars would be kind of giving it and going back and forth with dance partners. The air horn arms, it is so good. The video ends with the TV turning off and I love the idea of Normani being Normani's wildest dream. Yes, you are the one. It's you, Normani. I love it and I love 
love that Normani has chosen not to run away from the Beyonce comparison. Don't run from people saying you're like the most influential performer on the planet. You know who does not get enough love just generally? Sierra. And I'm glad that there are so many Sierra-ish looks here all throughout the video. You see the aesthetic of the beautiful feminine girl wearing Jordans, you know, kind of athletic athleisure wear. And you see it in the tremendously athletic dancing. But I also love the aesthetics. This is not gentrified whatsoever. I love that nobody watered it down to please mainstream ideas. I stand excellence. I've said it before. I stand hard work. I stand vision. And this video represents the coming together of so many things just right. Normani and her talent. And can you imagine how many hours of dance rehearsal went into making this? I've lamented before about the light-skinned pop music aesthetic that is so pervasive. It's so pervasive that even the white girls of pop are, are darkening up and trying to get a more ethnic look to fit into it. I'm gonna go see Janet Jackson tonight. And I've loved Janet and I've been a stan forever, but it matters to me that Gen Z has a Normani. The first young performer, she's 22, about to turn 23. So young performer who has the potential to be a superstar, that she is glamorous and spectacularly talented. Who is dancing like that? Who is dancing like that? Well, that's all I have to say about that. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Head on over to the Patreon. That's where I upload all of the bonus content. There's videos and podcasts, and a couple of my reading lists are also up over there. Thank you to all of the patrons. I appreciate you enormously. Um, buy some merch, sign up for the email newsletter, contact me on DM via Instagram or Twitter. That's all I have. Uh, next time I make a video, the green chair will be back. I know that you guys missed the green chair. Next video. Bye. <laughs>